Okay, this is What's Up in the Garden, Adventures in a Small Garden, Part 2. I'm going to have a mooch what's coming up out here. Um, this is generally, it's sort of like a little mini wooded area really. Um, so I don't harvest quite as much from out of here as I do out the back garden. Um, we've got some thyme under there and some marjoram. Got this massive balm of Gilead, it's quite sheltered there. Went through winter, looking fabulous. Got a lot of seed off that. Um, got lavender here. Mm, hopefully, there's a few dead bits by the look of it, but it should come on. It's an amazing self-seeder. The seed off this plant's great, so hopefully it will come on. It is a little bit early yet. I'm probably panicking. It's only February. <laughs> um... We've got this lavender around here, this self-seeded, but it's not looking too chuffed, is it? See what we can do with that as the season goes on. Um, this was the main patch of marjoram. And then a big patch of wood avens there, which is probably why I've got it everywhere else. <laughs> um, go and have a look in the main bed. This is coined... The giant's footprint bed by the kids. So we've got the Mahonia there. It's got some nice buds on. Oh, look at the colour on that. Um, various stuff down here. I'll probably re wood chip this from the prunings I've taken off the trees. We've got some dandelion. His plantain comes up in here. And got these are all these twigs. That's all. Um, raspberry. We've got slender speedwell that comes up. Look I'll just use that as a bit of a ground cover as well. It's really pretty. Got some nice buds on the pear. They'll be out soon. One of the first fruit trees to unfurl its leaves. We've got round here more wood avian. I need to get this wood avians out from here because there is lung wart. She was a bit strangled out last year, so I need to sort that. Oh, look! That's a little primrose there. Oh, that one's a lovely colour. It's like a pale yellow. we got mushrooms. Not sure what they are. I'll have to have a go at identifying those ones. Oh, that's a scabby dying off rosemary. That's where the one out the back, that was a cutting from off that, because I could see it was on the turn that there just showing signs that's Himalayan honeysuckle which I found out last year the berries are edible on that and they're really nice they're acquired taste but um very figgy figgish like well that's last year's that's the Christmas tree I need to plant that up hopefully you get that back up again then for next year right that is a lavender that someone gave me it's trained as a standard which I think is stupid for a lavender but it's very healthy. Some nice growth on it. So, in fact, they're ripe for cutting. Some of them shoots. I should get some cuttings off there. Um, this is a bit of a crazy wild area. Look, we've got that's some yarrow there. More slender speedwell. More plantain. Ragwort. There, look. Um, what else? Oops. Sorry. We've got, oh, they haven't come up yet, but that's, look, a patch of bee balms under there. I can see some more shepherd's purse interspersed there. Oh, that looks like that's more fever view, I think. Was it? No, that's Herb Robert, actually. Uh, right, this is the main strawberry patch, actual strawberries, not wild ones. Looks a bit what looks a bit dead at the minute, but again that just needs a bit of TLC. I'm gonna come out, do a bit of overseeing, a bit of tidying up. That's a little fern which came up last year. It's probably wondering where all its overhead covers gone. Um we'll be back soon. That's comfrey. That's just coming up. And then we've got the we get um blackberry up the back there and nettle. Although I can't see any sign of nettle. Yeah, oh, there is. 
it's just some you probably can't see it through there some right up the back there this is a nice bodied hazel that's coming on lovely got hazels on that last year so we should get some more up um, the holly mombrisha that's no good there that needs to come up uh, oh daffs daffodils I don't tend to harvest much from up this side because of the many cats there's this privet look this is used by as a run by cats and foxes and probably various other things so it's not really an ideal place you don't, oh, I don't want to be harvesting from here it's my skimmia which is looking healthy but it's all leaf no flower this year and this is where the main pet patch of speedwell is and herb robert probably get some wood chip down here oh look that's a raspberry <laughs> uh, uh, I've got a couple of butterfly bushes um, uh, and this is a pussy willow and the elder which just popped up and what else have we got down here more daffs there we go oh and then there are oh, some lovely buds on this hydrangea, look that's just starting to unfurl need to come out though and give that a prune otherwise that's off to a bad start oh and then I just meant to have a little look back here at the bear bris good one for the bees it was given to me by my friend yeah and that's looking nice and healthy as well uh, some good buds on this apple so all in all, looking pretty healthy out here. Uh, hopefully, weather willing, we'll be on for a, a good harvest this year.